as we hop into this match, as like usual, the first 15 seconds are autonomous are completely pre-programmed by their students. They're looking to gain as many points as they can. Some points are doubled, some points are just plus one. Both teams able to successfully balance, getting 20 points for their respective alliances. Plenty of time left in the match to total up those scores. 1646, the last time we saw them, they had a few screws loose, but they are ready to compete in this match, making quick use of their loading zone and drivers. 44-7, maneuvering to place a cone in the middle of their grid. Successfully holding on by just a thread, but unfortunately falling off. That would have been three points if they scored in the center of their grid. Lots of robots in the middle of the field. We might see some bumper on bumper action throughout today's match. 135 making their way carefully over their charge station to precisely place a cube in the bottom of their grid. 2867 making use of their loading area. Remember, robots of the color can only be in their respective loading area for the majority of the match. 9071, I believe that slicer tech has been hanging out in the center of the field for most of the match, holding on to that prize possession, that cube. There's only so many of those left on the field, but plenty outside that their human players can use through their loading station to deliver more to the field of play, just under a minute remaining in the match. 8742, swiftly placing a cube into the lower part of their grid, about to complete another link. Let's check on our link scores. That's what we see in the bottom left and right of our field view. The Blue Alliance is currently one link away from their ranking point, where the Red Alliance is three. Remember, a link, again, is three horizontal pieces in a grid, regardless of their level. We've entered end game. That's where the train horn was. Teams will start to make their way towards the charge station to get extra points for ending the match in a level position. They have about 15 seconds remaining to do so. The Bull Alliance is looking happy. Red Alliance is having some difficulty, but plenty of time to figure it out. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Both Alliance ending with three robots on their charge station and in a level configuration. Here are your scores from qualification match 24. The winner is the Blue Alliance. Nearly doubling Red Alliance's score, 65. Pen Robotics, 135, going up to the fifth position because of their four ranking points. What used to be uncommon is now commonplace here in Indiana.